You can protect yourself for as long as you can and by the will of Allah you will be able to feel over a period of time the connection with the maker, the connection with Allah. You will have like-minded people and this is why one of the most powerful ways of protecting ourselves from the temptations around us is to choose the best company. To choose the best company, like-minded people who think alike, who speak in a way that is either better than ourselves or similar, who have similar thinking and so on or better. And inshallah, by being in their company, we will be able to help ourselves stay away from the temptations that are wrong. When it comes to time of salah, we are with five sisters, mashallah. I'm talking here about the sisters, not one brother with five sisters, no. But five sisters, mashallah, and what happens to the sisters? The, all of them, four of them say, you know, let's read salah. The fifth one won't say, no, I'm not. She just nod her head. Yet, maybe in her own little private life, she wouldn't have been that regular with salah. What happened? We saved ourselves with so much ease because we were with the right people. It's very more difficult to read salah when you're alone, when you're not regular, than when you're with a group of people, all of them are going to read it anyway. You want to go to a restaurant and you're not really, really bothered about halal and haram, but the four people you are with are bothered about it. Do you think someone will say, sisters, don't bother, man. Pork or no pork? Let's go and have a nice chow, a nice, nice meal. No, they won't. Nobody's going to say that. So you get saved automatically, automatically saved. Why? Because of your company. You know, if I were to talk about company this evening, Wallahi, we could speak for two hours and valid, solid points. How the Quran speaks about the company. بعد إذ جاءني وكان الشيطان للإنسان خذولا. What powerful verses of Surah Al-Fulqan, where Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says on the day of Qiyamah, those who will have had bad company will be really eating their hands. That means they will be regretting it so badly, saying, Oh, we wish we would have chosen the path of the Messenger, and we wish we didn't have so and so as a friend, so and so as a friend, because they led us astray after we knew what was right and what was wrong. Some of us are from very good backgrounds, but because of the friends we have, it becomes irrelevant what background we come from. We now have a new sort of identity, and when we go home, we have the half bummers. You know what's the half bummer? I'm sure you've heard it before. The genes that come halfway down the backside, mashallah. Halfway down the backside. And we are supposed to be going to the masjid. So what happens? We walk to the masjid, we have a balance. You know, I can actually show you, I can start up there and back. Show you exactly how it looks. And we have two fingers coming in now and again as though we're cutting a piece of paper that doesn't exist. <laughs> so what happens? We walk up and down and we go to the masjid and when we're going to sujood, you hear the brother behind you saying, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, instead of me going down to such that. But this is happening. Yet, before we left home, it wasn't the case. Why? Because we gave up. We gave up our good qualities for the bad qualities of those around us.